I'm going to show you how to get absolutely shredded in just four weeks. This is the exact method that I use to go from this to this in just 30 days. And this isn't some crazy, insane method that will not work for you. It's tried and tested with myself and my clients and is guaranteed to get your results. No messing about, let's get straight into step one. So to begin with, we have to figure out your nutrition. What is your true starting point to get fast fat loss results? Well, to find this number, we have to find out what your maintenance calories is and if you're not already tracking your calories then you're gonna have to start there's no way you're gonna get absolutely shredded and not know the amount of food that is going into your body so there's two ways we can go about this we can spend a week of your time which does delay the result figuring out the amount of food that you're eating on a daily basis and to do this you're going to use my fitness pal and you're going to eat exactly as normal but with your eating you're going to track every last bit of food into your food diary at the end of the day you're going to see how many calories you are eating for for example, let's say for breakfast you're having eggs with a couple slices of toast. For your lunch, you're eating chicken and rice. As a snack, you're having a protein shake and maybe a chocolate bar. And then for your evening meal, you're eating steak with potatoes. And then as another snack in the evening, you're having some Greek yogurt, maybe some fruit, maybe some more chocolate, maybe a few biscuits. If that's how your average day looks, I want you to keep it exactly the same because this is going to give us vital data for how many calories you are eating current. If you begin to change your eating habits during this process, you will not get the true number of the amount of calories that is maintaining your current body weight. So do this for seven days, figure out how many calories you're eating every day, times that by seven, and then divide it by seven. Once you've got this number, you know the amount of calories you are eating on average. Within this process, you need to be weighing yourself on a daily basis. And if you're not weighing yourself currently, I really recommend you do, as again, it gives us vital data for if you're gaining or losing weight. And if you see the scale start to reduce, then you know you're actually in a caloric deficit. However, if you see the scale increase, you know you're eating in a caloric surplus. We have to use this information to figure out what our maintenance calories is. Or you could save yourself a week's time and use a calorie calculator. Now you might be thinking, Connor, why didn't you just tell us this in the first place? Well, some people do not like to use calorie calculators. They'd rather figure it out themselves. Generally speaking, I understand my body well enough that I'll never use a calorie calculator. However, if you're new to this, I put one in the description below that I recommend you use. I'm not affiliated with this website. However, it is one that I researched and think is pretty good. So once you've found out where your maintenance calories is, of course, we need to reduce calories from this number. This is a very fast process in which we're trying to lose fat. So we're going to have to start off with a rather large calorie deficit. Generally speaking, I would drop a client's calories around 500 to start a diet. However, if we have 30 days to get shredded, we're going to have to pull even more calories from that number. So if you're a guy and you're weighing, let's say between 80 and 100 kilograms, you might be maintaining your body weight around 2,500 to even 4,000 calories. For myself, I can maintain weight on around 4,200. So trust me, some people can handle a lot of food. Whatever number is your maintenance calories, you're going to reduce these by 1,000. And this is going to be your nutrition starting point. So if your maintenance is 3,000, you're starting your diet at 2,000. Now, I understand this is an aggressive drop and you will be hungry, but at the end of the day, we're committing for a very short amount of time to get you lean very fast. I would argue anyone can suffer a little bit and struggle with a little bit of hunger for 30 days. If you push this to 8 weeks, 12 weeks, then I absolutely would not recommend this. This is only for people looking to get shredded in 4 weeks. So with Within this calorie deficit, you want to make sure that you're eating good, whole, nutritious food sources that are going to keep you full. If you're currently into flexible dieting and maybe eating X amount of your food from very unhealthy food sources, I recommend for the next 30 days, you actually hit that on the head and eat whole, nutritious foods. For the reason that this is going to keep you satiated, it's going to keep you happier, it's going to give you more energy throughout the day and you're going to need this. If you start to put a lot of foods that are lacking nutrition, then your hunger is definitely going to increase. And of course, with such a fast process, we need to keep ourselves full. The more hunger you experience, the more likely it is that you will fail in this process. So make sure that your food choices are very good and are going to fill your stomach. When it comes to the food sources, keep it simple. For your proteins, eat chicken, beef, and fish. For your carb sources, eat things like potatoes, rice, pasta, plenty of vegetables. And for your fat sources, make sure that these are coming from your red meats and your fish. If you build out, let's say, a 2,000 calorie meal plan from just these sources of food, I guarantee you will get lean fast and you will still feel full. Now that we've dealt with your nutrition, we need to move on to step two, which is your training and cardio. For your training, I'm not going to dive deep into exactly what you need to do. Uh, this is very schedule dependent for most people. For example, you could be somebody who trains two times a week and that works for you. However, you could be somebody who actually commits six days a week to weight training. So for me to give solid advice on this, it won't really be something that absolutely works 
for everyone. And the point of this video is that you can implement this straight away and get results. So what I've decided to do is link a free training plan below in the description so that you can follow to the best of your ability and guarantee great results. So head down to the description below after watching this video and get yourself a free training plan. When it comes to cardio and steps or looking at your overall output, this is going to be a very vital part of this entire process. If you're looking to get lean in 30 days, just dealing with nutrition isn't going to be enough. We're going to have to be doing high levels of output. So what I recommend you do is push your current steps up by at least 4,000. So if you're somebody who is completing 6,000 steps per day and you might have gone out for one walk per day, I recommend you push this up to 10,000. If you're somebody who does 8,000, push up to 12,000. And this is going to be a perfect starting point for burning even more calories on a daily basis, but more so giving you a quite a large extra increase throughout the week. Moving into your cardio, this is going to be something that you're definitely going to have to commit to, in my opinion, to get lean very fast. So I would recommend you pick a cardio kit of your choice. It could be the cross trainer, bike, Stairmaster, anything like that. You could even go outside for a run and you're going to complete 30 minutes of moderate intensity cardio every single day. So a moderate intensity cardio is something within zone two. You're not walking and you're not sprinting, somewhere in between that. All of this extra cardio and extra steps along with your caloric deficit is going to push you into such a deficit that your body has no choice but to get leaner. And of course, we're looking at a fast process here. If you're somebody who wants to diet over the next three to four months, do not follow this advice. This is way too aggressive to maintain long term. This is for if you want to get results right now, very, very quickly. So once you've got all this set up, you are doing 4,000 extra steps per day. You're doing 30 minutes of cardio five days per week. You've got your new training plan and you're in rather large calorie deficit by a thousand, right? Where do we go from here? Will this work indefinitely? Well, the answer is yes, it should. However, the body is very different for every single person. So for you, you might do a week and then you might stall in your weight loss. I highly doubt that it will, but this is where it comes to the next section, which is all about weekly adjustment. Now, weekly adjustments are where true results come from. You can have the greatest training plan or greatest nutrition plan in the world. But if you don't make adjustments to this plan when your body stalls or plateaus, then you will never get the results that you're working for. So for example, if you are two weeks into this process and you notice that the scale has really slowed down, we have to make an adjustment. That is your body's sign saying, let's make a change. If you don't make a change, you will not get the result that you want. So when you're looking at making these changes, I recommend adding 1,000 steps to your daily steps every single day. So if you're currently doing 10,000 at the start of this plan, that is going to move up to 11,000. Alternatively, you could add five extra minutes to your daily cardio every single day. Another option is to reduce calories. However, with us being in such a caloric deficit, I actually recommend you stay away from altering calories. Some people are different. Some people would rather pull calories down and keep cardio down. For me personally, I'd rather push cardio up and keep calories up. So this is personal preference for you to so take my advice in any way that works best for yourself. So if you are altering your nutrition with these adjustments, I recommend you pull 200 calories per day out of your daily total. So if you're currently eating 2000 calories at the start of this process, it's going to have to come down to 1800. Now, I understand this is low, but again, I want to reiterate that this is a very short, vast process for getting you lean very quickly. So if you follow this very simple process for at least four weeks, I guarantee you will be much, much leaner in this time. It's a very simple process to follow. You're increasing your steps, you're increasing your cardio, you're decreasing your calories, and you're following a very well-built training plan. What could go wrong? The only thing you're going to have to control is your appetite and your mentality. For most people being in such a large deficit, they will struggle with the hunger. However, you need to keep telling yourself that this is for a very short amount of time and that you can absolutely get through it. So make sure that when it comes to your meal timings, that your food is well spaced out and it works for you. If you're someone who doesn't get very hungry at breakfast, maybe leave your food to later in the day. And that way you can eat more food later on when you're at your hunger. I always recommend to the people that I work with that you eat the majority of the food at times when you crave food the most. For a lot of people, they might get hungry at around lunch. So I recommend they eat around 40% of their calories at that time of day. However, if you're someone who gets really hungry before bed, when you're settling down after work, then I absolutely recommend you eat the majority of food at that time. There's no one set in stone plan for this. Everybody's appetite is individual. So do not think you need to eat two meals a day, six meals a day, intermittent fast. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're going to feel good and you're going to get the result from it. So figure out a way of eating that works for you and I guarantee you will feel much better for it. So guys, there you have it. That is the exact method I use to get very lean in a short 
anxiety days. So if you like this video and you've taken something away from it, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, I will see you in the next video.